I don't want to catch the guy in front of me. You got to give him a little extra. <laughs> 25. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Alright, Kevin's turning. 25 miles. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Light Bright Nation? What's up, Light Bright Nation? Look, we got our whole fleet of Broncos. They I finally told you, came in. They finally came in. Our entire fleet of Broncos finally made it here. We're not. Giveaway, 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 give No, just kidding. So. <laughs> Recently in a Bronco video, we actually explained to you guys something that was pretty cool. And when you buy a Bronco, you actually get this invitation to go to something called the Bronco Off Rodeo, which they have multiple locations throughout the United States. And today we are actually at one of those locations in Austin, Texas, where we are going to show you guys a first hand look at what you would get to experience when your new Bronco finally comes in. So what's really cool about the Bronco Off Rodeo is it's essentially designed for people who have never been really off-road before or that don't have a lot of experience off-road. It's to take you from the pavement and then teach you how to crawl, then how to walk, and then eventually get you really comfortable behind the wheel and how to run in your new Bronco. And this is something that's really cool because there's a lot of new technology in the Bronco that isn't even really familiar with the Jeep Wrangler that a lot of people might not be familiar with or it honestly could just be something as simple as like when to use four high versus four low or when to use your lockers when to use trail turn assist stuff like this that i think is really essential for people to know so that they're really comfortable when they go off road and they're not essentially learning from trial by error so the bronco off rodeo is actually really really cool development for the off-roading community and i think it's something that everyone can appreciate no matter which following or manufacturer you stand behind so Brittany's behind the wheel first. She's just gonna kind of come up and up and do this trail turn assist. So just hold that inside wheel. You go full lock if you activate it, and it'll make uh, kind of whatever turn you need. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is you can kind of see how it does do ruts. The trail turn assist isn't for every single turn, and if you can do a three-point turn, do a three-point turn because if you see it does start to leave ruts and you will start to tear up some trails and there's some trails that are are very fragile stuff up at high alpine in colorado utah anything like that um so it's not for all situations now if you're in the sand somewhere at a beach obviously that's pretty super simple that refills in that's not a big deal so this is a tool to use it's not something to use every single time to where you're tearing up trails and it and it's uh, you know gonna create an issue in some places so use it responsibly it's just a tool just like lockers you don't use lockers everywhere where you go you don't use you know four-wheel drive everywhere you go so use a trail turn assist like actually responsibly and only when you need it now one of the first things they're gonna do as you can see here is not only are they gonna teach you about all the buttons and the controls and the switches inside your new Bronco, they're also gonna train you on what exactly those buttons and switches do and what they're used for in situations in which you should or should not be using them. They're also, on top of all that, gonna teach you a lot of extremely helpful driving techniques for off-road use, such as two-footing or left foot braking. Things that Kevin and I have always tried to teach new off-roaders in our YouTube videos, but now you actually get to learn it hands-on with an instructor right there with you, showing you exactly what to do and how to do it. Sorry, sorry, it's habit. I want to get a little bit more articulation out of the front end, yes? So what do I have available to me in that Badlands of First Edition? Stay bar disconnect. Stay bar disconnect. Hey-o. Hey very familiar with the sway bar disconnects on Jeeps, okay? That's an electric system. The 
downside is disconnecting under load is just not there. Here, the hydraulically delivered system, you have that ability. So I can be full load, cross axle, tire hanging in the air, hit a button, and I get 17% more out of that front end. Cool? Now, I'm still spinning in the rear and the front. What should I be doing here? You tried to say it. Earlier. Sorry, it was my bad. <laughs> just have it. <laughs> I could absolutely use a locker here. But there's some techniques I could use uh, prior to getting to that locker. I could use that traction control. I could use some left foot braking to try and guide that vehicle through here. Maybe using what's called like a poor man's locker. The problem with traction control, let's say my, I hold my RPMs at 1500 and I just let that vehicle spin, I'm gonna start digging. So let's lock front and rear, second and third button. Guys, this is genuinely incredible. Not only are they teaching you about the vehicle, they're also teaching you different driving techniques about like two footing. He also just mentioned a poor man's locker, which I know what that is, but there's so many people who've never even heard the term, let alone know what it is or what it's referring to. And then on top of that, they're putting you through this obstacle course that is putting you into just about every unique or potentially scary situation you might encounter off-road where you're lifting tires, you're going over rocks, you're going through water crossings, or you're in situations where you're off camber, which can be some of the scariest when you're leaning and it's freaky and they're teaching you about not only what you can do and what you can do to stay confident behind that wheel, but they can also teach you about your weight transfer and what not to do to make sure that even though your instinct is telling you, get up the hill and turning in the wrong direction and now suddenly you're in a worse position than before. They're doing actually a really good job as far as basic off-road training here. And that's, again, that's so exciting because a lot of people, especially with like the new JL Wrangler, a lot of people that bought it were brand new. And Kevin and I have always been really genuinely surprised by how many people have commented on our videos asking for, you know, videos or how to's between you know, like four low and four high or lockers or sway bar disconnects stuff that they're all doing really great jobs at training here. This is, this is, it's pretty awesome. This is such an amazing way to learn about the dynamics and the capabilities of your off-roading vehicle. Because that's something that a lot of people, when we've seen it off-road, that they, <gasps> they, it gives you that, that feeling when you're in your vehicle and you pull a tire, or you feel the vehicle pitch or tilt. This is something that lets you know that that's okay to a point. They teach you where you need to start you know, being cautious, where you can still be really confident behind the wheel, and when you start to really need to worry, essentially. All right, y'all, I have a feeling this is just how my entire day is gonna go because every time we come to a new section of this off-roading training course, essentially, I'm re-impressed. Not only, A, are they letting you have a little bit of fun, but again, they're teaching you about key important 101 basic facts that you should really know before you take your vehicle off-road. He just went over airing down. He just obviously, you see they have a little mini sand pit, you know, what to do and not to do in the sand. He talked about your footprint and your traction and how much tread you have touching the ground to allow you to float over certain terrain. Like this is, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Okay, so although I am genuinely finding this impressive, I'm not necessarily learning anything because Kevin and I are in such an extreme level of wheeling that this really isn't designed for us. The people it's designed for are people like me, which do pavement stuff. I am Alejandra. I am associated with That Dude in Blue. That's his fiance. And this is our, we don't do much off-roading, so this is pretty exciting to be with her in the car and with this experience so 
And you, you say you don't do much off-roading. You in particular, you've never been off-road. I've been passenger. Uh, I haven't done anything behind the wheel. So this is, I'm a novice driver. And this is exactly what this training course is designed for. Yes. And honestly, I say that even me and Kevin coming to do something like this, I say we don't learn anything. That's not necessarily true because you do learn exactly where all of your controls, all your switches are and what all of them do. Although we might figure that out pretty quickly in the first month of owning the vehicle, we get to learn them all right at once. That way, the moment we take it off pavement, we know exactly what everything is, what it does and how we need to do it. Are you afraid of heights? No. Nope. So we'll see how That's this goes. That's good. <laughs> Oh, she has to start around that corner. You actually have to drift through the poles. Oh, you got it. And Here then it line <laughs> up, and you got to hit this about 50 to 60. I'm close my eyes okay. at the same time. Just stay in the throttle. Five minutes at 65. Yeah. Okay, 65. All eyes 65. closing. <laughs> All right. And I'll tell you where to stop. Don't touch it. Okay, I want to touch it so <laughs> bad. Just, just let it do. Let it just let it do. So you can see, she's got it on trail control, so it's actually controlling her speed right now going up the hill. anything. Slight okay. left for me. Okay. There you go. And stop there. I'm thinking about my approach, now my break over, maybe my departure coming off. Okay. Okay. Now, no gas, no brake. No gas. Just straight. Giant trust fall. Giant. Uh, I love this one. Trust fall. See, I I'm okay with heights. I'm not okay with falling. Oh. Put your hands up. <laughs> no gas or brake, right? No gas, no brake. We'll get you jumping it by the end of the day, don't worry. Sweet. <laughs> so next up, we're taking her through the rocks and we actually have one pedal engaged. And one pedal is an electronic version of left foot braking where when you're on the throttle, it'll go, but as you get off the throttle, it'll automatically engage the brakes for you. So it makes it a lot smoother as you're learning to two foot on your rig. opportunity to come here and actually show you guys what the Bronco Off Rodeo is all about is thanks to our really awesome friends over at Bill Stein. So for those of you that don't know, if you haven't ridden in either a first edition Bronco, a Wild Track, a Badlands, or anything equipped with a Sasquatch package, it comes with upgraded Bill Stein shocks, which Bill Stein designed alongside Ford. And to help go over exactly how awesome this piece of equipment is and just how much more comfortable it makes these vehicles both on and off-road, I have Mr. Spencer here, who hey is guys. actually an engineer with Bill Stein. So tell me what you're holding, because you actually brought a cutaway, which is super yeah. awesome. So this is an actual version of the shock we are making for the Bronco, except for the hole. <laughs> but what makes this so special compared to your, your standard shock that might be on another vehicle is our years of experience building high pressure monotube shocks along with the end stop control valve technology. Uh, what we have here is a digressive piston which helps us tune to both high and low speed and is custom in both compression and rebound to Ford. But what makes this one step above that is our on either side of the stroke we have the end stop control valve. And that means we have two additional pistons tuned forward forward to be exceeding off-road and what that does is is when you engage and when you are in the end of your travel we create a seal here which takes this column of oil and forces it through that second end stop control valve piston creating tremendous amounts of damping force in both compression and rebound uh, that means when you're off-road if you're you're hitting a, a big jump or landing if you lift a tire or if you're even taking all four tires off the ground you're not going to feel that harsh topping or bottoming out uh, you can push this vehicle as hard as you want and it's going to take it and keep going it's almost like having an internal like hydraulic bump stock built in to exactly to your shock itself exactly they're designed to take anything you can throw at them there's no need to rebuild these after uh, a couple thousand miles 
They can handle dirt, dust, the road, and they'll just keep going, uh, including our external reservoir in the back that allows you to ensure you're not getting lag or any fading in the heat. And so for those of you who have seen our videos uh, with Bill Stein before, you also know that what's so cool about these guys is not only do they have a massive OE section of their company, so they make the OEM shocks and suspension for a lot of extremely well-known and high-end brands, but as far as their aftermarket and like off-roading stuff goes, they get to utilize all that same OE equipment and testing material on their aftermarket stuff so that their aftermarket shocks and suspension have the same quality of an OE suspension setup. Which, which is like is, million mile testing, yeah, Which right? is million They're mile testing. Tested for four weeks at a time running nonstop straight to ensure that when you put this on your vehicle, it's gonna last the life of the vehicle. You're gonna need to replace your bushings, you're gonna need to replace your control arms before this shock will fail you. Or if you're Kevin and I, you're gonna flip your Bronco long before you gotta worry about replacing the shock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about any of that. <laughs> it's, it's really cool technology. This is brand new technology for the Ford Bronco. Um, you guys also make the TRX shocks in the, yeah. the Ram TRX. Yep. So that's this on steroids. Yeah. Right. You'll see that it's got the end stop control valves, but it's also got uh, two electronically controlled valves. The shock's well. also like, that oh, big yeah. on the TRX is crazy, but yeah, yeah the, the technology there is pretty insane. Folks, will keep it nice and tight there. Yeah. Great job, but that's all. Beautiful. Great job. Hey, base model squad. <laughs> this is her first time off-road behind the wheel. She's going down a nice drop off into a into a ditch through some water. Beautiful. Great job in there. How'd that feel? Amazing. <laughs> Unsettling, but amazing. <laughs> Unsettling, but amazing. <laughs> My heart dropped and I was like, oh wait, it's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a good drop. Yeah. You even got me a little like, oh. But it's very comfy. We're going to be heading up and around this bend. It's pretty steep. There's some ruts. Now you do have lockers available to lock everything if you need it. Front and rear. There you go. There go. But go ahead and just, you're going to put your driver tire into that rut and then and then up those rocks up there. Right here. Watch me. Yeah. Watch me. So you want to watch your spotter. It'll always tell you where you need to go. Okay. So you feel the tires slip and then start working with the lockers on. Look at you, you're off-roading, girl. I am off-road, like <laughs> legit. <laughs> you're legit. So how'd that feel? Amazing. Amazing? That was... Yeah, so generally we're out exploring. Like right now, like this is really cool. It's 360 acres, guys. Yeah. Um, which is really neat. It's really pretty. We're out here in the Texas Hill Country. But we're still like in town, you know, like you're you're not out crazy exploring. In the of nowhere. But when you get out in the middle of nowhere and it's like you, the vehicle, you can get stuck. Yeah. You can, you know, things could go wrong. That's, I think, when it, it gets pretty exciting for me. But, and you're actually, this is really, really comfortable. Generally, off-road vehicles kind of beat you up and you need a lot of bouncing around. This is actually, uh, this is this is set up really, really nicely. Oh, so hey, Brett. What's up? Isn't it hot out there? It's a little toasty. <laughs> she did good. Yeah. She did good. She's How did ready. You guys, it's really weird putting a car through the, through all of that. Like, you're like, I'm going to break something. I'm going to hit something. I'm going <laughs> to roll over but you gotta trust in yourself and the car yeah you know and your spotters you know and this can do way harder stuff right so this is <laughs> what we're doing right now but it's you kind of got to build up yeah build up to yeah, it it's right? the first day first day on the job yeah. <laughs> again crawl then walk then run then run
now we're going up this wall. All right, so you're gonna watch him. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna line up here. Well, Once you get sort of lined up, you're gonna hit both your lockers. So go hit your lockers. Go hit. So hit your front. Yep. Yeah, and then hit your rear. All right. So now you are locked, ready to go. Now watch him. Okay. Just do what he says. And feel what the vehicle's doing though, as he tells you what to do. Nice. Very, very good. How'd that feel? How'd that feel good? I feel accomplished. Yeah. Dang. I felt full and tired going up some crazy stuff. Very nice. High Thank five. You. Yeah. That was a good one. I feel, I feel great. <laughs> And then, of course, you put Kevin in the driver's seat, and you end up with this. <laughs> oh my god! I just caught some air, dude. <laughs> it's way smoother up front, for sure. <laughs> Whatever, this is what I was looking forward to. <laughs> Good? I um. love this. <laughs> Straighten up, yep, right there. Look at you. This is a pretty good little section. been my favorite part of the day. Yeah, guys, don't keep in mind this is her first time ever off road, that is right. and she is in a Bronco with lockers and a sway bar disconnect. And, this and guy, she is and she right. is killing it. She is well, absolutely killing it. Honestly, I thought I thought uh, Kevin was driving because it looked so effortless, and then I came up here and I'm like, that that doesn't look like Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little. She's, she's a little cuter than Kevin, <laughs> just a little, a little bit. Just a little uh, bit. good times. It's nice of you to wait for Brittany. I'm gonna keep hiking. Okay. <laughs> You want to jump in? We'll give you a ride. Sorry, Hi, babe. It says it's only 80 out. What's your problem? Look, so 80 degrees. 80 degrees and 300,000 percent humidity. Yeah. No, it's 96 out. Now, guys, saw your bike. Are you locked? Yep. Yep. All the box? Yep. Okay, come on. Yay. All right, you guys. So. In case you don't remember this handsome face, this is Fabian. He is actually the CEO of Bilstein here in the US. And this is your first time off-roading in a brand new Ford Bronco. It is. I've been on road, but not off-road yet. Let's do it. All right. And what's up, Love Bright Nation? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Think I'm ready for King of the Hammer? Dev oh, 100 <laughs> percent You can co-drive with in the Kevin. Bronco. You can do the stock car class in the Bronco. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and what's extra awesome about like all of this is there's so many people here who are completely novice drivers when it comes to off-road driving and driving skill sets. They've never done it before, they have little to no experience with it, and they're doing all of this. In completely factory vehicles and as you can see like a lot of them are getting pretty confident behind the wheel which is super awesome that's the entire point of this whole thing you fit the uh, high speed portion and somehow fabian's still in the driver's seat <laughs> <laughs> 
two hands. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Hold it. Hold it. Make it in the <laughs> Definitely ready for King of the Hammers. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was that man. You were going like what, ninety miles an hour? At there? least, for at, at least. least. I thought I saw the, the mile per hour top out. Yeah, no, I think it was so. yeah. red line. Yeah. So it's just like the track. So if you're gonna slow down, slow down in your straight line. Yep. Not in the corner. And then this is one of the ones that's kind of a jump. He said not a jump. Okay, not a he said the first not a jump. <laughs> I'd get in trouble for it being a jump. Catch the guy in front of me. You gotta give him a little extra. <laughs> Twenty-five. <laughs> Twenty-five. <laughs> All right, Kevin's turn. Twenty-five. My ass. <laughs> Twenty-five. Remember, I'm thirty-eight. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's not a jump. That's not a jump. Watch this one. This, this one. is not a jump. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a jump to me. That is absolutely worth the time and the experience. And honestly, it was just freaking like entertaining. No, it was really good. The guys here and girls, I mean, they nailed it. They go over everything beginning to end, take you through the whole course, let you know about everything on the Bronco. They killed it. It genuinely doesn't matter like what your skill level is, whether you're a more experienced off-roader or if you're a complete and utter novice, like they still have something that's worth learning, whether it's just getting familiar with your rig before you hit the off-road trails or you're starting from scratch and you really want to be confident behind the wheel these guys and the trainers here are absolutely phenomenal this i it's not that i i, I didn't have low expectations it's that i didn't have any expectation i didn't know what to expect no, it, it is above and beyond above like, and beyond impressed yeah, and 100%. we actually and we actually may have gotten invited to go do the one in vegas which is 1100 acres the one here's what 360 you said yeah something like 360 that 360 acres the one in vegas is 1100 and he's like hey guys since you live down by vegas you guys want to come do that? So we might be able to bring that to you here in a couple months. And guys, honestly, 100%, if you've ordered a Bronco, you have the opportunity to come down here to the Bronco Off-Rodeo, 1000%, take the opportunity to do it. Totally worth it. As always, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Lightbright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. And we gotta give one more shout out to Bill Stein for giving us the opportunity to come out here and share this experience with all of you. Guys, we love you. And we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time. Bye, guys. Mwah. Guys, I gotta show you something real quick. 
this Bronco comes equipped with three sexy women. Look at this, how lucky am I? We're out here at the Bronco Off Rodeo. And I've got, look, do you guys, do you guys see this? <laughs> Look at that. We got room for one more. Yeah, that's right. Dang. <laughs> I like this place. <laughs>